Hi, my name is Jay Brocklow, and I'm the Director of Weather Operations here at the Mount Washington Observatory. A lot of the research we're doing currently is to make a more accurate forecast. So right now one of our observers, Carl Philipoff, uh, has been working on a near-surface lapse rate. Uh, project and that's really to establish what the temperature change from the base of the mountain to the summit of the mountain is because in the models they use a set standard and that set standard is not actually indicative of what's happening in complex terrain like the White Mountains. We've been using the stations up the auto road so we have stations every roughly thousand feet uh, and we have minute data going back to 2016 and so we've been looking at the last seven years of data and looking at how temperature changes going up the summit. Um, and so uh, we've been looking at both the maximum, minimum, and the average temperatures at these stations and how they see what a seasonal or climatology is like going up the summit. Uh, this is a very unique data set because uh, we're the only station that has been instrumented for that long and has better than 99% data completion over a, roughly a seven year period. And so uh, this can actually be used for modeling research and also for our own forecasts up here on the mountain. Temperature uh, modeling within complex terrain um, has not been done so much on the eastern part of the U.S. It's been done a little bit more in the western. And so we have one of the best data sets for the eastern U.S. for temperature, uh, especially temperature multiple stations on the same mountain. And so that's why our research can be better applied to like, let's say not just in the White Mountains, but also in the Mahusics and also in the Green Mountains in Vermont. And so having our data set uh, over that long time period can better characterize our climate up here in the Northeastern US.